A very good evening. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. And first up, there was little respite for grieving relatives of the victims of Himachal tragedy as just one more body was retrieved today. Even as officials have intensified search operations, hope of the missing victims seems to be dying down. Battling loss and helplessness, parents just have one hope in mind, that the rescue teams fish out all the 18 bodies as soon as possible. Rescue personnel managed to recover another body early this morning, soon after the rescue operations were resumed. With another body being found, the death toll has now increased to six, with the rest still being termed as missing. This body was located around 600 meters downstream from the incident site where the accident has actually happened and it was stuck among rocks and today early in the morning this mountain river's flow is at its minimum ebb so the water went down and when we were looking for the bodies we could uh, see some clothes or some indication that there was something stuck and when we investigated we found this body and we took it up. I am very sure that we will be able to recover all the bodies but it is going to take time. Water level of Pando Dam reduced. The water level of the dam has been reduced to facilitate search operations. Around 550 personnel have been deputed to trace the bodies of the students who were washed away by strong currents. A team comprising of 10 underwater divers and rafters are looking for more bodies in River Bias from Thalot near Hanogi Mata Temple to the Pando Dam. The students who survived the tragedy are keeping their fingers crossed and are hoping that they find their friends alive. But with each passing day, hope seems to be fading fast for the 18 students who were washed away in the river. The union minister and the families have decided to stay back at the tragedy struck spot until they find more bodies. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Veer Bhadra Singh has suspended a resident engineer, the executive engineer and a fitter operating at Largi Hydropower Project for releasing the water without prior warning. High Court demands a report from state government. The High Court too has described the incident as a consequence of utter negligence. The High Court, which took Suomoto cognizance of the incident, ordered the state government to submit a detailed report by the 16th of June. The High Court order comes in the backdrop of a huge ruckus that was created over the incident, demanding the suspension of engineers. Amidst all this, furious parents thronged the private engineering college at Bachupalli, pointing fingers at the management for not keeping them informed about the incident. Why they were taken to the riverbed in the night hours? Did anyone inform us? Were the parents told about this? They only collected 15,000 rupees from each student. I had spoken to my son on June 5th last. His exams had completed on June 2nd and he said the college management was taking them for the tour. Whether it was a study tour or a picnic trip, nothing was informed by the management. Taking note of the seriousness of the situation, the Telangana government has stated that it will take legal action against the Himachal Pradesh Dam Authority and VNR Engineering College. The Telangana government will take legal action against the Himachal Pradesh Dam Authority for criminal negligence leading to the loss of innocent lives and the college authorities for taking students for a picnic by saying it was an industrial training too. It is sad to know that a sightseeing trip to Himachal Pradesh turned tragic for these students. As fate would have it, the entire incident is said to have taken place in just 10 minutes. With the search operations intensifying by the day, the wait for more bodies to be fished out continues. A News 9 report. Trouble has become synonymous with Akhilesh Yadav's government in UP. After facing slap from the union government, it was the opposition's chance to take the government to task. Samajwadi Party has been facing the wrath of lawlessness in UP for a while now. Latest in the row of criticism is by BSP chief Mayavati, who has raised the issue in Rajya Sabha. President's rule in UP. BSP Supremo Mayawati created chaos in Rajya Sabha while demanding the imposition of President's rule in the state. She claimed that Akhilesh government had consistently failed to improve the law and order situation in UP. She also pointed out that despite the demand for a CBI probe in the Badayu rape case, no reports have been taken by the incumbent government. Apart from the rape incident, she also raised the issue of complete collapse of law and order by highlighting the killing of Vijay Pandit, a local BJP leader recently. 
After creating much ruckus, she staged a walkout of the house in the middle of the session. Rajya Sabha was discussing the motion of thanks to President Pranam Mukherjee for his joint address to the parliament. Under Article 356 of the Constitution, President's rule can be imposed initially for a period of six months if there is a failure of the state government to function as per the Constitution, loss of majority, breakdown of law and order in the state, indecisive outcome of elections, insurgency, no alternate claimant to form the government, defection and breakup of coalition. The gang rape and murder of two cousin sisters in Badayu has drawn the state government's severe flag on the global circles too. Recently, both US and United Nations sharply condemned the horrific crime. Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav invited further criticism when he slammed the media for highlighting such incidents in UP while ignoring them in the rest of the state. With so much criticism during the rounds, it looks like Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav has a tough road ahead. A News 9 report. Well, it was only two years back that the entire of North India faced a complete blackout and now with the heat wave hitting North India, Delhiites are facing double trouble. First, a natural calamity of sorts. Then, an unbearable heat wave. And now the capital blacks out. But what is the reason? I think the real crux, the real constraint that is causing such agony to the citizens of Delhi is clearly the lack of decision-making, the lack of investment in infrastructure, the lack of any forward planning. In the last 12 years since 2002, which was particularly extenuated in the last four years since 2010 with a massive policy paralysis, action paralysis, execution paralysis. The Union Power Minister Piyush Goyal called for an emergency meeting with the Joint Secretary of Power and the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Najib Jung, to discuss the power crisis in Delhi. He lambasted the previous government for their inability to spend adequate money on updating the technology used in the power grids. Even as the national capital is burning at about 48 degrees Celsius, there is no respite for Delhiites as there are possibilities of inadequate monsoons in many parts of the country, including Delhi. But in today's two and a half hour long meeting, significant decisions were taken to fight the power crisis. The power minister has now set aggressive targets for his colleagues to ensure the process of restoration happens swiftly. He has set a deadline of 15 days to fix the power problem in Delhi. Not just that, other significant decisions were also taken. Gas generation at Bhavana. The gas generation station at Bhavana, which is said to have a capacity of 1,500 megawatts, produces only 290 megawatts. However, the power minister revealed that the National Thermal Power Corporation has agreed to release as much gas required by Delhi. Immediate additional power generation. Piyush Goel further urged his colleagues to generate an additional 300 to 450 megawatts of power from tonight. However, the real problem lies somewhere else. In the presser, the power minister revealed that the country generates enough power, but the substations and the transmission lines are outdated, which is why the national capital is facing a power crisis. And Meenakshi Lekhi reiterated the same. सबसे महत्वपूर्ण विषय यह है कि अगर 6000 किलोवाट की दिल्ली को आवश्यकता है तो वो बिजली ग्रिड के अंदर उपलब्ध है लेकिन उस बिजली को आपके घर तक पहुंचाने के लिए जिन सबस्टेशंस ट्रांसमिशन टावर्स दी है जिन तारों की जरूरत है वो नहीं है However hardliners left no stone unturned to take pot shots at the ruling party and their inability to handle the situation ये बड़ा अजीब बयान है अगर वो इस तरह की बातें कहते हैं आपने देखा होगा कि जब हम आए थे तब शायद 3000 या 4000 मेगावाइट दिल्ली को बिजली सप्लाई होती थी तकरीबन इतनी मांगती और बहुत परेशानी रहती थी 
इनके जमाने में जो सारी गलतियां हुई उसको हमने भुगता और पंद्रह साल के बाद आज जो हमारी डिमांड है उसको हम पूरा करते हैं चाहे कहीं से करते हो कहीं से रेवेन्यू लाते हो नॉट जस्ट दैट आम आदमी पार्टी हर्षवर्धन साहब एंड स्टेज प्रोटेस्ट they demanded immediate steps to be taken to solve the crisis and said that under the rain delhi got electricity 24/7 that were cheaper rates aam aadmi party ki sarkar ke dauran 24 ghante bijli milti thi aur sasti bijli milti thi ab bijli bhi mehangi ho gayi hai aur saath saath mil bhi nahi rahi aur log garmi se dukhi hain to hum unse request karne aaye the harshwardhan ji se halanki wo public ke samay ke khatam hone se pehle hi nikal gaye unke pa ne mujhe bataya ki wo shayad kal ka time dena chahte hain mujhe kal milna chahte hain kal bhi aake unse yahi baat karenge hum लेकिन भारतीय जनता पार्टी को अब याद करना पड़ेगा कि वो विपक्ष में नहीं है वो सरकार में है और दिल्ली में अगर बिजली की कमी होती है दिल्ली में अगर बिजली के इस तरह की कटौती होती है तो उसके लिए वो जिम्मेदार है कि अपने मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जिन्होंने कांग्रेस जिसने पंद्रह साल दिल्ली में शासन किया उसके साथ मिलकर यहाँ उनचास दिन सरकार चलाते हुए किसी तरह का कोई काम नहीं किया धरने प्रदर्शन के अलावा उनसे जाकर हिसाब किताब लें उनसे जाकर पूछें कि उनचास दिन तुमने यहाँ राज करने की बजाय बिजली की ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स को ठीक करने की बजाय बिजली के ट्रांसफार्मर्स के लिए मीटिंग करने की बजाय प्रदर्शन तुम क्यों करते रहे और वो जाकर दोनों लोग मिलकर कांग्रेस के नेताओं से पूछे कि पंद्रह साल दिल्ली में राज किया ट्रांसमिशन लाइनों के ऊपर पैसा क्यों नहीं खर्च किया ट्रांसफार्मर्स अच्छे लगाने पर पैसा क्यों नहीं खर्च किया डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन आल्सो रिवील्ड दैट ही इज बीन इन टच विद द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ दिल्ली एंड एडेड दैट द कांग्रेस हैज नॉट स्पेंट अ पेनी ऑन रिपेयरिंग द ट्रांसफार्मर्स एंड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इन द स्टेट सिंस द टेक्नोलॉजी इज आउटडेटेड द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिस्टोरेशन इज गोइंग टू बी डिफिकल्ट सो डेली विल बी इन पार्शियल डॉक्टर्स फॉर फिफ्टीन मोर डेज but will this deadline be met by the ministry is what remains to be seen a news line report